In the heart of Silicon Valley, a sprawling campus houses the workspaces and offices of one of the biggest and arguably most influential companies in the world. Facebook's headquarters on the edge of San Francisco Bay look more like a city than a company headquarters. To the workers who produce some of Facebook's newest features, the area feels like its own city too. The headquarters is often known by its nickname MPK20, which is a nod to the area it covers called Menlo Park. In this video, we're going inside Facebook's mega city. Renowned Canadian-American architect and designer Frank Gehry designed this campus. Gehry, who received many awards for his work, including the Gold Medal for Architecture from the American Academy of Arts and Letters in 2002 and the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2016, designed such places as the Walt Disney Concert Hall, the Guggenheim Museum in Spain, and the J. Pritzker Pavilion in Chicago's Millennium Park. The building contains some of Gary's signature distinct elements, such as metal paneling. The campus of Facebook's headquarters spans more than 250 acres and contains 30 buildings. To travel to the building, one can either drive or take one of the shuttles Facebook runs regularly to and from the Menlo Park Caltrain station, which is about a 10-minute drive away. The company gives employees a transit stipend. Those who drive to MPK20 can park underneath the office which significantly reduces the amount of heat that would be generated if the company had acres of exposed asphalt like traditional buildings. A non-traditional way of parking isn't the only method Facebook uses to be environmentally friendly. The sophisticated energy systems utilized throughout the campus are combined with a 9-acre green roof. This roof spans the length of the entire building, and it provides environmental benefits such as habitats for a myriad of local birds, as well as a place for employees to collaborate, exercise, and simply relax outdoors. The green roof contains four feet of growing medium, drought-tolerant grasses, shrubs, and ground covers. The park contains over 150,000 shrubs. The roof also contains over 350 trees, including mature oaks. Employees can stroll or jog on a pathway that meanders for almost a mile across the top of the building. The building is LEED Gold certified by the U.S. Green Building Council. Solar panels generate almost 2 million kilowatts of electricity per year. Foxes are often spotted around the grounds, so much so that Facebook has signs posted that warn visitors to keep their distance. All these environmentally conscious decisions in design help Facebook be 25% more efficient than California's tough energy code known as Title 24. For a company that's generated $21.08 billion in revenue in 2019, the inside of MPK20 doesn't quite match. Ceilings are 22 feet tall. 50,000 square feet of the building is stainless steel, including wall panels and flashings. Steel beams are exposed throughout the building and one can see notes from construction written on them. Wiring and raw ducts can be seen on the ceiling and the floors are made of rough concrete that has to be painted with pathways to direct those inside. Beautiful artwork covers some walls while others look like they were vandalized with graffiti. Plywood boxes constitute coffee tables and sometimes meeting rooms such as one designed for Zuckerberg and COO Sheryl Sandberg while mismatched chairs litter the workspaces and collaborative areas. In short, it looks like a work in progress, but this is exactly what CEO Mark Zuckerberg had in mind. Zuckerberg and Gary designed the building with the goal of having a simple, modest, down-to-earth, and cost-effective space that promotes collaboration and creativity, attracts talent, and reduces the wasting of materials. The use of metal has helped achieve the goal of waste reduction due to metal's longevity, durability, sustainability, and recyclability. The building is 434 square feet of space that is designed to foster openness and collaboration. After all, the building is known as the world's largest open-plan single-room office. The design of the building mirrors the company's philosophy with its open floor plan and cultural relevance, as well as the way workspaces are structured. Employees are clustered together in small spaces and people of different backgrounds are scattered across the campus. Engineers, product specialists, marketing executives, communications managers, and virtual reality developers are seemingly sprinkled throughout the building. The design of the building and the random assortment of workers pays tribute to Facebook's scrappy, creative 
with Hacker Origins as a startup. The address of the building is One Hacker Way. The words hack and move fast are incorporated into walkways and art throughout the building. The company even has events called hackathons where employees have to work on projects they wouldn't typically work on. Hackathons have been responsible for some of the social media giant's biggest software innovations, such as the Facebook news feed. Employees also try to hack their spaces by personalizing desks, hanging banners, and even doing something as elaborate as installing a Japanese game in a closet. The small hack sparked a series of events that ended with a full arcade maintained by the employees. The arcade even features a Dance Dance Revolution stage. Even though some of the games don't work since they're cared for by the employees, the arcade is a reminder of how Facebook wants to empower employees and embrace change. Employees enjoy many benefits at work. The company offers free laundry services for their employees through Purple Tie, an eco-friendly dry cleaning and laundry service. The company picks up and drops off on campus. All employees get free meals and snacks as well. A central road in the campus has a Phil's Coffee, Seoul, a Palo Alto-based Mexican restaurant, and a barber shop. Employees can rent bikes to ride around the campus, and Sweet Stop, an ice cream shop on Facebook's older classic campus campus has four and a half stars on Yelp. Food at the campus is sustainable and varied. Facebook's culinary team uses locally sourced ingredients. A cafeteria-style campus restaurant only serves Indian food, while in another, people can eat traditional Mexican meals. Chefs reportedly match the lunchtime music to the cuisine, too, so people get additional cultural touches throughout their workday. Employees can also work and socialize at The Bowl, which is a shaded outdoor terrace with multiple tables and built-in gas fireplaces. Employees can control the flames at will, which makes The Bowl the perfect place to spend time no matter what season it is. Employees also get to view important and influential art, which is placed throughout the building as part of an in-house artist-in-residence program. The program is led by Tina Vass, an artist who was featured at the Guggenheim, which Gary designed. 15 custom art installations by local artists are scattered throughout the company's headquarters as part of the program. One piece of art by Elias Syme consists entirely of recycled computer parts such as keycaps and motherboard fragments, which just emphasizes Facebook's environmentally friendly and sustainable goals. Employees walk through courtyards and outdoor spaces to travel between buildings. MPK20 isn't the only building which is part of Facebook's mega city though. MPK21 is another building building, designed by Frank Gehry, that mimics the design of MPK20. Completed in 2018, MPK21 consists of 524,000 square feet of office space in another single-floor open-plan office space. An expansive green roof sits on top of the building while parking is below the building just like in MPK20. MPK21 features the same collaborative spaces and amenities as its predecessor along with an event space that seats 2,000 people. The project, which is nearly 100,000 square feet larger than MPK20, was completed in only 17 months. MPK20 took 22 months to complete. The building is also LEED Platinum certified and it includes a pedestrian bridge over the freeway. This bridge provides public access to the Bay Trail, a 500-mile walking and cycling path that runs through all nine counties in the Bay Area. While the trail is currently a work in progress in 2020, 356 miles have been completed. The building cost $300 million and was part of a $1 billion expansion of the Facebook headquarters. It's not a secret that Facebook has been one of the most influential companies of the 21st century. When it launched in 2004, few could have expected that it would be one of the largest social networks in the world. However, Facebook has exceeded nearly everyone's expectations, and its gigantic modern city is proof of that. MPK20 and MPK21 are certainly their own city within the ever-expanding area known as Silicon Valley.